What is up everybody? How's it going? Travis here and today we got a fragrance we're going to be talking about from the house of YSL. It is Loam. Loam. So Aaron, thank you for joining us again for another fragrance video. Um, we're still looking at Aaron's collection because Aaron is uh, has been gathering some really cool fragrances and stuff and some of the stuff he shows me I'm just very impressed, you know. Um, and so that being said, we're going to be talking about Loam today. Aaron, thank you for joining us. Um, so Loam by YSL is a woody floral musk fragrance for men launched in 2006. Top notes are ginger, bergamot, and lemon. Middle notes are spices. You know, you wonder what the spices could be. Spices, violet leaf, white pepper, and basil, okay? Base notes are tonka bean, cedar, and Tahitian vetiver, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. So Aaron, what we want to know about today, um, what are your impressions of this fragrance? And for any of you that are watching, I actually uh, discovered that Loam was Kanye West's like favorite fragrance for a while. I don't know if that's the case now, but it just kind of goes to show that like, you know, Kanye is a pretty sophisticated dude. So, yeah. you know, this men's fragrance is probably some good stuff. So Aaron, uh, tell us about this fragrance. What are your initial impressions and why is it in your collection? For me, when I went to, I usually go to places like Nordstrom or uh, Macy's or other places where I'm just like testing stuff out. And I discovered Loam off a whim because um, I had been a big fan of uh, Lana Weed Loam. Mm -hmm. I, yep. I love that fragrance. But I was like, I need to find something that may be more of like an easier daily wear. Right. Um, that's light and that's more airy. So when I think of this fragrance, Loam, I think very fresh and citrusy and like uh, air type of vibe, I guess. Just mm. not, it's not intended to like be in your face. It's really just like an easy day. It's not a thick, heavy no, it's not. fragrance. Not. Yeah, even, you know, I'll apply five, six sprays and you know, it just doesn't project that much. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what I was really after was just this uh, fresh smell. And something that I'll point out too, you know, the first time I smelled this fragrance, um, what stood out to me was the ginger and the bergamot combination, you know? And I think a fragrance like this, like it does have a floral element, a kind of a peppery element too. When I read that white pepper, I'm like, yeah, that's just about right. And so this fragrance, like it is spicy, it is masculine, you know, but it has just a, a little hint of that floral vibe, which I think is a cool juxtaposition to some of the more masculine, masculine elements in this fragrance. So that slight powderiness has some sophistication to it. You know, I think this is a classic. Um, are there more modern options? Like, yeah, there are more modern options, but I think this is like an instant classic and compared to like Lawn Weed Alone, you know, I mean, I love that fragrance, I've owned it, but I like how this has like a, like a brightness to it, you know? Um, so Aaron, what I wanna know is what's kind of like your performance that you're getting, you know, when, when do you decide like, hey, I wanna, I wanna rock Loam today, okay. you know? Well, because Loam is a daily wear, I wear it often, so I can really say for me as, where, as far as my body chemistry is concerned. This fat bottle. Projection, the bubble probably is like maybe three feet. Three Sim feet. Simple, nothing. Yeah, it's not room filling. Not in your face, which I like. That's just the style I like. Some people like loud and like fill up the entire room, but I usually go for fragrances like this that don't project that far. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as longevity, um, I would say it lasts five, six hours. And I usually spray like five sprays. Yeah, which is, that's in the higher register for you. It is higher yeah. because, well, because one, that because this is more of like a lighter fragrance, as I see it, I would say it just, if I want it to, I do want it to project a little bit, mm -hmm. like a little bit more. Versus if I had something um, in the Parfums de Marley line, 
mm -hmm. where you can literally get away with probably the same projection distance with one spray or two sprays. Right. But longevity, yeah, I would say about five, six hours. Five or six hours which is with really good. sprays. Which is really good for, uh, for this fragrance. Yeah, this fragrance is definitely fringe. You know, would I recommend that you buy it? Um, I think it's a safe buy, but it's definitely not like the safest buy, right? Like obviously you gotta smell it. You know, if, if you're asking me like, how does this compare to like Blue de Chanel? If you're asking that question, just buy Blue de Chanel. Yeah. That, but that being said, I really like this fragrance. It's French no doubt has some sophistication um, and it's a classic so that's why i recommend it okay so thank you guys for joining us today we'll see you in the next video bye